Hello, Pagan Perspective viewers. I am Delia, and I will be substituting for Eric today on Wednesday. For this week's topic, we've been talking about altars and ritual attire. These questions come to us from Mr. JSC2009 and Bandit16895. Full descriptions of their questions will be down below. Since you do have a family and you're worried about maybe the size of an area that you might have your altar, you can have something called a mini altar. And here is just a little end table, something that might go on the side of your couch or beside your bed with drawers and like they said, the little mini, um, a small altar could go inside of a drawer and to be brought out, I have this little clock here that I just found at the thrift store. It has little clovers on it. I thought it was pretty cute. Now you don't need to use an altar cloth. I would suggest using an altar cloth because then it kind of keeps the dust there. So when you have your altar stuff set up and you move your knickknacks on your altar table around, then you just have to fold up your altar cloth and take it outside, dust it off. If it needs to be washed or scraped due to wax or incense, ash or something, just all the different smells of it, wash it up, whatever. Um, now this is an inconspicuous little tin. It had camel cigarettes in it at one time. And so you can leave it just like this if you're a smoker or people knew that you were a smoker at one time and you just kept it because it was kind of something neat to carry around, put coins in or something, but it's inconspicuous and something that could even go in your glove box and you can carry it around with you. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what's inside. All the little things that you would need for an altar set up on the go. Now I have my matches and three birthdays four birthday candles. I got these at the dollar store and it was a huge pack that I got at the dollar store. It's enough to make 80 birthdays. <laughs> One birthday each. <laughs> One birthday candle, but whatever. And they come in different colors. So I have red, blue, white, and yellow. So those are great for element, rem element representation colors. I also have a few small tumbled polished stones. That would be representing the elements. The white one here is pretty cool because it has a, see, Whoa. okay, this is a quartz and it has the lace working through it and it kind of reminds me of the sky where you would look up and see the clouds. You can go ahead and quickly get your altar items set up. I have a bay leaf that I would use for any type of petition magic. However, that won't help me because I don't have anything to write on it with. I could use something to scratch in a figure or symbol and that would work as well and then I have a little bit of cypress for the earth representations I have some incense sticks some, it's easy just to stick them into the dirt where you're sitting a little vial of my uh, I know I don't really like calling it holy water I call it wicca water <laughs> my witchy water um, the candles and then just pentacle pentagram representations and then you can just go ahead and set it up however you please. I'm going to change spots real quick because the battery died. But this is pretty kick-ass because I have it plugged into the wall. And I'm able to charge it and record at the same time, people! And your little lid of your case could work as a great holder for your candles. Now some tins that you might see have little pretty polymer decoration castings on top. But this one, I'm liking to keep it just incognito. So you just get the bases of your candles warmed up with your match and get them in the corresponding direction for your elements and light them as you would any other place that you have your altar set up. And then it's easy to clean up when the wax melts down. You just scrape it off with your thumb and voila. And then you're able to also 
get your incense set up and do your ritual as normal. So that's just one idea. And you don't have to go and find any kind of fancy, expensive stuff to do this with. I mean, a lot of it I found at the dollar store. Rocks and stones are usually things that come in, into one's collection if you have that desire to collect rocks and stones for your altar. Um, now, it could be bigger. It could be much bigger. It could be followed all the way to the wall. It could... It, every tabletop in your house could be an altar. So... It's really up to you on how you want to do it. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with the size of the circles that you might want to put around your altar. Look at um, Charming Pixie Flora's backyard. She has a beautiful altar area set up in her backyard and it's humongous. So that's something that I might be doing out on my front porch eventually. Um, so I'm going to show you my other altar that I have over here. Okay, and this is our entertainment center where our TV is hooked up there. And this is where we have our family altar. So that's one other idea and space that you could do and this is how I like to do it also by my bed I have a tiny little altar as well it's cluttered right now and it's dusty and I really need to clean it up so remember to clean up your clutter people <laughs> keep your spirituality clutter free <laughs> as well it doesn't really matter if it's cluttery who cares right now as far as ritual attire I just wear whatever I feel like wearing I'll wear my street clothes I'll wear civilian clothes I don't think that there is I'm not in a coven, I'm solitary, so it kind of really depends on um, what you feel like doing. Like Cara has suggested, make your own clothes or um, a really great website. It's very expensive, but it is um, Pyramid Collection. Oh, they have so many amazing clothes on that. Oh, I just can't afford it. <laughs> they have a lot of really great witchy stuff there. So that's a, an idea that you have as well, is just to make your own stuff, wear whatever you're comfortable with. Go sky clad, wear just socks and underwear, wear a Cardinals jersey and a pair of socks. That's pretty nice. I think So yeah, just wear what you're interested in, wear what makes you comfortable. Don't be too restrained when you have to do your ritual work. Now, if I was wearing a long billowing sleeve, I might catch myself on fire. So you always have to worry about fire and stuff like that. So. Yep, there goes my candles, they're doing their thing. So I really hope you liked this video and I hope that that helped out with anything. You know, anywhere that you want to put your ritual is really up to you, wherever you find that you have the space. The other members made really good, great suggestions already so far on how to have a more private, secluded spot, um, up in a cupboard. That was a really great idea to show the cupboard. Um, in a drawer. I had never even thought of that and I don't think I read that anywhere so that was the first time I had heard about using a drawer as an altar space. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your week and next week you will have me again on Saturday during Seth's week for the Pagan Perspective. For those of you in areas with um, damage because of the tornado I pray for you, I wish the best for you, and I hope that everything will just come back together quickly and harmoniously back into your life and that none of you will have to suffer much longer without power and internet and water and a shelter and the loved ones that you might have lost during this time. So blessings to all of you. Thank you so much, Eric, for the saying that I'm as sweet as is, that I'm a lifesaver cherry flavor because that is my favorite i love cherry flavored lifesavers they're the best for the lifesavers candy and then you got your butterscotch or your butter rum that's the next favorite and then you got yourself your pineapple so anyway okay everybody enjoy the rest of your week blessings bye but do what oh, thank you i look cute my daughter says okay now i gotta freaking delete that part out anyway